and David, a Florida couple that opted to downsize. We didn't have a large number of people we wanted to invite. And also, we are on a very limited budget. And although the couple's guest list of eight people is smaller than the average wedding, they're not letting size define their special day. We thought it'd be a lot nicer if, you know, the, the people that were near and dear to our heart could be right there with us. And we're joined now by RealSimple.com lifestyle editor Rachel Sylvester. Rachel, thanks for being with us. I want to begin, actually... By polling our audience, how many of you raise your hands if you're married? How many of you keep your hands up if you think you spent too much on your wedding? Fair. Oh, Fair enough. oh we've got some okay. conscious folks here. Talk a little bit about, Rachel, uh, who these micro weddings are best suited for. So micro weddings are great for minimalists and couples on a budget. And think of micro weddings as the middle ground between you have elopements, which are very spontaneous spur of the moment weddings. And then you have these at the other end of the spectrum, these huge, huge weddings with hundreds of people, hundreds of guests in this huge venue. So micro weddings, you can kind of think of them as an intimate dinner party with all of your favorite people, your family and friends, and you still have all the same details. You still have the dress, you still have the suit, you have the cake, the photographer, the wedding planner. It's just on a much smaller scale. Yeah, I just love that our, our audience is so cost conscious. Right? They all <laughs> stay in their budgets. They're all happy with They're how good. much they spent. Um, how do you go about planning something like this? Definitely. But one of the first things you have to do is you have to sit down after getting engaged and have an honest conversation with your partner. And that's in order to set expectations and get a feel for exactly who you want at your wedding and what family and friends need to be there. So once you have your guest list set, optimally that's 20 people, you can start searching out venues. So take that time to really think about a space that means a lot to you as a couple. That can be your favorite restaurant in town. That can be the wine bar where you had your first date. Those are optimal places. So you just reach out to the wedding coordinators at those venues and you just say, this is the type of wedding that we're trying to plan. How can you help me? I like it. It's it's a nice option. Uh, if you don't want to elope, but you don't want to spend all the yes, money, it's, it's exactly. a great uh, offer for so many people. Thank you so much for joining us, Rachel. Yes. And the September issue of Real Simple hits newsstands this Friday.